everybody, Cap here, and tonight, Phoenix and Bow, Sanskrit. I just got this in the mail yesterday. I won this actually off Instagram, and uh, I have tried a small sample of this, but the full puck is great. Four ounces, and if you're not on Instagram, get on Instagram, just, you know, make up an account. Take a picture of uh, your, San your uh, Phoenix and Bow, and uh, just any kind of picture and uh, you might could win another soap they do it on a weekly basis monday through saturday and announce on sunday i think four or five people have already won it but sanskrit's sandalwood black pepper and cardamom uh, it's a darker side of sandalwood more of a truth black pepper comes out kind of not as a too too spicy but just a subtle spice and cardamom um i kind of looked it up i've been around the tea a little bit and the spice and uh, the black cardamom is a little smokier than the green. So I'm kind of thinking this is more of the black because I do get a smoky hint. But, you know, that could be the sandalwood. But the spice is uh, really there. It's a great, great earthy scent. Uh, this is fantastic. Have it blooming. Mmm. I'll pour this bloom water out and let you look at the puck. That's what I'll dip my bristles in. Look at that. After I knock y'all around a bit, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, it's kind of a soft soap, uh, but it's not real, real soft. All right, 1936 Aristocrat. Since I used my other Aristocrat, I had to pull out this one. Open cone TTO, bulldog handle, <laughs> of beauty, 1936. The first uh, TTO made by Gillette was 1934. Look at that. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, wonderful shaver. And I'm going to be using the Gray Dog. This is the Gray Dog. This was made by the Gray Dog. A C40 Ever Ready with horse hair. Now I've read, see it says sterilized. You'll see this on a lot of... Uh, brushes now i've read it says made in the usa that this did not originally come in horse uh, i think the c40 come with boar but uh horse hair used to be a big thing then anthrax started coming in over on it uh which you don't have to worry about that now hopefully <laughs> i'll let you know if i get anthrax but just kidding um that's why it says sterilized is uh because there was a big you know anthrax scare and everything disease scare now that's what I've read. I don't know if that's true. But that's the reason it says sterilized right there. That uh, everybody is saying it's disease free, safe, safe. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna load my brush up. I still gotta put the bloom water on my face. Which, let me stop and do that. All right. Got the bloom water on my face. Wonderful scent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's it's got this nice peppery spicy i mean not really really spicy uh you know i know some people don't like a lot of spice it, it doesn't have a whole, whole lot of spice it's just got just enough and then that sandalwood which i'm a humongous sandalwood fan especially uh like the Paraso sandalwood and then there's a little bit of a sweetness to it and i'm wondering if that's the cardamom uh i'm not sure maybe the green cardamom i don't know I haven't been around a lot of cardamom. I read that it's the third most expensive spice in the world. It's used in medicine. They smoke it. That's right. I don't know if you can get any kind of feelings from it. Look at this. Ah, yes. Look at that load. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How y'all doing, by the way? I hope your weekend has went well. It's Sunday night. Y'all probably be watching this Monday. I don't know. I might have time. Monday's my long day. Thanks, everybody, for uh, 
subscribing, all you new subscribers and the old subscribers. Thanks for sticking around. Still working on this brush. I'm trying to get it to where it can get a thick lather for me. Probably just needs a little breaking in. In fact, I need to uh, bowl lather with it a little bit. I find that that, uh, that helps me break in a brush. I think it helps with the flow and stuff. Because like my wolf whiskers, I haven't... Uh, I haven't bowl leather with it at all. I'll leave the ingredients of this soap, but it is a very, very nice soap. Carrie and Sarah, Hitchens, England, UK. Hitchens is a nice little town. I looked it up online. Beautiful little place. I'd love to go visit one day, boy. But, alas. Good thick, thick ladder. Look at that. Wonderful. We'll just do this all night instead of shave. Let me make sure y'all still going. Yeah. Last uh, last time I shaved, I had a little hiccup there at the end. Sorry about that. Hope that didn't bother anybody. Wonderful stuff. Stuff slick. And I believe... They're still putting uh, tallow in their soap. But I cannot tell. It's got just enough tallow in it to give you a nice slickness. Usually any tallow soap, I can smell the tallow. But this one, I cannot. All right, this is the Gillette 7 o'clock I've been using the last few shaves. What does that say? I don't have my glasses on. Sharp Edge, I believe. This is the yellow. They have a few different kinds, green, black. Yellow works for me. It works. Wonderful. Mm, mm, Slickness, cushion. I tell you, if you've not tried Phoenix and Bow, get their samples at least. You can get all of them. Uh, they're not that expensive. Or just go straight for the gusto. My goodness. I think Spitfire and this new Nor Star, Star Nor, I haven't tried it, sold within eight hours. But you can also get them at Shave Station, I think. And uh, Maggard Razors carries them. I really do need to check them out. Great stuff. So my experience, whoop, I'm, I'm slinging it. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. My experience with artisan soaps is, is that the ones made internationally are completely different than the ones made here in the U.S. Uh, truly are. Uh, Phoenix and Bow take, for instance, Groen Lika, and made in Sweden. Uh, very unique. Feel, sense. Uh, everything 
I guess it just goes with, uh, you know, different cultures and stuff. Uh, razors master, razor masters. Uh, thinking, I'm trying to think of a, a couple of more, which, you know, MDC, uh, LPL, they're artists and they're big name artists. <laughs> big name artists. We have three, three pads. This is just too good. But if you haven't, uh, tried any of the artisans out there, uh, internationally do so. It's, uh, it's an eye opener just to experience. And I'm just glad that uh, places are starting to uh, carry international stuff. And I believe Khan, I'll have to find that site again. I know Owens knows it uh, over in New Zealand. If you watch this, Owen, write me and give me Khan's email and I'll, uh, I'll put it in the show notes. Uh, but Khan has a has a place that he tries to uh, uh, keep stuff that are kind of hard for people around Australia and New Zealand, uh, New Zealand and stuff to get a hold of. So while I got y'all, y'all listening, check out the link that I'll leave the bo uh, below to my uh, No Shave November team. Old shaver, old old school shavers against cancer, and uh, there'll be a link below. If you want to join, I know me and Alex De Leon have already uh, signed up and are doing it. It was his ideal initially. Uh, man, this the scent of this soap is so good. My goodness. Wonderful. And I just love the uh, the thickness of it. All right, back to what I was saying. So the month of November. Uh, I'm not going to shave nor get a haircut. I will trim my ear hairs for you. Uh, well, probably not my nose hairs. They hurt. And then uh, my eyebrows. I, if I get a wild one there. I'm thinking like grow overnight. I don't know. But anyway, y'all check that out. Go on over there and check it out. Either participate or donate. I think the least amount you can do is $25. It's for cancer. It goes over uh, four different sites. One of them is St. Jude, a uh, great place right here in Memphis. But I still will be doing videos for the month. November. One of the things I'll be doing and I'll try to start up if I can get enough questions is uh, question and answer videos once a week. So if y'all want a shout out and a question answer in the month of November, or, or you can do it now, uh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, uh, we'll do a question and answer. Let me tell you, y'all are great though. 
I need to, uh, before then, maybe next weekend, uh, next Saturday or Sunday evening, I'll let you know, during this week, I'm going to do another live. I think that's the best thing we can do. I'll do a, I think I'll do a live with a straight razor. For all y'all straight razor enthusiasts out there. I think this week I'm gonna be using a straight razor all week. Haven't done so in a while. Wonderful. Smooth, mm. beautiful, beautiful. Let me wash that. All right. This shave didn't get any better. 1936 Gillette Aristocrat. Uh, it came in this gold box. It's a uh, deluxe. The 1934 came in just a regular leather box, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. C40. I gotta give a shout out to my, my man, Gray Dog. Thank you very much. Great brush. I'm really loving that thing. Go ahead. I'm not gonna trim that up too much until December. Just to give it that look, you know. I don't know how much hair is gonna be growing on the side. Sandcrest, Phoenix and Bow. You can get it at Maggard Razors. Uh, I know for a fact here in the U.S. and I think Shaving Station has it. Um, there, well, there's a few of them. Go to their website. I'll leave a link in the description and uh, they actually tell where their dealers are uh, and if you uh, if you write them or, inst uh, or message them on Instagram, they're very, very good at getting back with you and can answer any questions. And I think Kerry uh, has a video on how he um, uh, lathers this, bolt lathers this, great video. He does a good job. Right there's Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Wonderful, wonderful. I am so happy, happy about this one. Uh, Spitfire is a deep uh, leathery scent. Then my obsidian is just a deep earthy scent. And this is a light woodsy earthy, all earth. It's some of my favorite scents, I tell you. Some of my favorite soaps. Wow. Magnificent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carrie and Sarah, for the soap. Uh, I want to join again in the contest, see if I can win another one. Hey, everybody. I forgot to mention my post shave. Now, I took pictures of uh, La Quatrine Ville to Dillian Luke's. But... Uh, I forgot <laughs> to let you uh, let y'all know that I'm gonna see exactly how good the post shave is on Phoenix and Bows. I think I've done that before, but I'm not for certain. It feels really good right now, and I like to do this with some soaps uh, when I think they're gonna have a really really good post shave. I've done it with Mitchell Wolfat. I've done it with several artisans just to see. A lot of times I don't. Uh, give uh, tell what happens or what not because everybody's skin is so different. Uh, a lot of people have to have something afterwards. But uh, I'm going to try this out since it is a night shave, and I'll let y'all know uh, probably in the dis in, in in the description uh, and also on Instagram tomorrow how the post shave is. Uh, thank y'all for watching, and I'll be putting this on for work in the morning. I'll give you a good look. That's my favorite. Tilling Luke's LQV because I can't pronounce it. It's something French. La Quatrine Ville. Val. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to go to the closing that I've already pre recorded and uh, enjoy those pictures. I'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm going to leave with pictures of uh, my. Uh, the. The majority of my soaps uh, that I got out 
to do pictures of the Sanskrit for the Instagram. You saw them in the beginning, and these are the actual soaps just piled up here. Uh, it's not every one of them, but it's it's a good majority of them. And uh, November, I think I'll go through a shave, a shaved in little tour, show you all my brushes, but you see them. But uh, <laughs> all my soaps and my razors. Thanks for watching again, and I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Tomorrow's Monday. I'm looking. For, no, I'm not. Not looking forward to it. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for watching. I'm Cap, and I'm out.